Hello again friends, uh, in this video we will be talking about a frame shift mutation. Now what we mean by frame shift mutation, as the name suggests the frame shift, so it is uh, the shifting of frames, right? But what are the frames and why we call frames? Now you know that uh, if we start with the DNA, we are having this DNA, uh, all the informations are incorporated in this DNA and, and it will make the mRNA and I am drawing mRNA a little bit like that and it finally makes the proteins, right? Now uh, this mRNA is having all those three, le three nucleotide codons, right, which are the blueprint of life. Now those codons we are looking at here, this is the mRNA of wild type cell, this is the mRNA of a mutant cell. Now uh, this mRNA is really important and the codon sequence uh, rather is much more important because these codons are coding for different types of amino acids uh, that we require to make our desired proteins. Now what, what will happen, uh, there are three nucleotide sequences each uh, acts for a particular codon each synthesizer which, which signifies a particular type of amino acid, a specific type of amino acid rather. Now like this uh, CAA code, uh, codes for glutamine, uh, UCC codes for serine, CGG codes for arginine and all these amino acid sequences but if any changes happen like that so suppose any kind of change happens uh, so so this this three letter codons if we arrange them in different ways we can find a combination of different codons now all of these different codons will code for a uh, for a specific type of amino acid sequences but there are some type of codons like two or three codons are there which code for the same amino acids code for code for a one single amino acid sequences Okay, this could be also possible because if we look at the genetic code, you can find this easily. But here what we can see, now right after the mutation, what kind of mutation is happening in this case? The mutation is the addition type of mutation. Now what do we mean by the addition type of mutation? Now you can see there is there are CAA, UCC, CGG. Now here, uh, instead, uh, in between these two A, another A has been incorporated. So here it is the position, if I draw, uh, at this position, this A or adenine is, is incorporated and as a result of this extra incorporation of adenine it will change the codon frame now what we mean by the frame frame means each single codon now it is called one frame so one codon means one frame it's the frame one this is the frame two this is the frame three now each of the frame is coding for is, is coding a particular specific amino acid now as a result of this new adenine addition the frame uh, is changing so the frame number remains same one two three but frame amino acid code is changed like that in the previous case the code is caa now the code becomes uh, now the code becomes ca so the first code uh, remains the same so the so it, it will code for G glutamine it will also code for glutamine so no change in that it's fine but the second code as we can see it was ucc but in this case it was AUC you can see here it is AUC as a result in previous case it was code for it was coding for serine now it is it is coding for isoleucine it is the change again in uh, next case it was coding for arginine now it is coding for proline okay now why it is happening just try to uh, just look at it very carefully now if we put uh, here one ad adenine here now what will happen how the frame is changing let me take another color now how uh, th this is changing now the first frame which was CAA before now it is this CAA the second frame here is uh, AUC instead of UCC now the third frame is CCG and the fourth frame was C and all this so you can see these are the results so just shifting of one uh, ship or addition of one nucleotide uh, can lead up to the shifting of one nucleotide right so we have added this so thi this this part is one frame then this part is another then this part is another then this so as a result the frame is shifting so shifting by one nucleotide here if we add two nucleotide sequences it will shift it by two nucleotide if we, if we add mm, uh, the amount of nucleotide we add it will shift uh, the frame uh, by that fold and as a result it will change uh, uh, this so no matter we are adding two, uh, we are adding three, we are adding one nucleotide but it is going to change the protein sequences and not only protein sequence of one or two, it will change all the amino acid sequences that are downstream. Okay, so it will change. So the effect is so much magnified. Okay, that is really, really devastating. The effect is really huge onto uh, uh, the production of proteins. So as a result, suppose we need to make a protein which shapes like this to fit uh, onto a DNA, it will make a protein which is just looks like this it is not at all the protein we wanted and uh, uh, act actually uh, uh, and rather you can see also that this protein is devastating this can also lead to the apoptosis of the cell 
okay so this can also be happen due to this kind of mutations okay so a type of mutation it could be a uh, the frameship mutation can occur by via different causes so it could be a addition it could be a deletion deletion can also lead up to suppose this uh, uh, this a if this a is removed from this place then also you can have a shift of in this case this is this will be the first this will be the second and this will be the third right deletion can also lead up to the frame uh, frameship mutation okay or transition transversion and all these things can lead up to the frameship mutation so the codons are specifically placed and they are specified for particular amino acids so we need to make them uh, stable we do not disrupt them if they are disrupted then uh, it will make a devastating effect on the cell okay so that's the basic take home message okay so that's it and i hope it will help you thank you